What is happening, guys? Welcome back to Days Gone. Thanks again to Sony for the copy. And that was just a weird mission, you know. I, th I think I think my problem is the fact that we got Tucker want? here is all like, hey, we "Need your help. Get your we need your help, Deacon. Work. Help Come us on. out, Deacon." And then I bring this little girl here, and I'm like, "Hey, she's been through some shit." And Tucker's like, "You don't fucking work here. You don't tell me how to do my job." Stop! Stop! Uh, completing these missions reward you with trust and credits. Okay. Knock it off. You have a ride with a drifter, scars all over his face, carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo. Don't know him. He came into camp yesterday to turn in some bounties, have a few drinks. Seems like he didn't leave until early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, so why don't you just tell Alki about that? He beat a man, Deke, and a woman to death, Bowman and Hewitt. Her face was so smashed in, you couldn't tell it was her. Oof. Hewitt. Oh, Maria. Right? Oh, Jesus. This asshole, Limbo. He's a local. Alki says they've set up shop at the old Forest Service watchtower on the east slope of Three Finger Jack. Yep, I know where it is, and, uh... I'll handle it. I thought you might. So, let's see. We have, there was another mission about getting a new gun. He's, it's a rifle, not a gun. Learn to track deer from Copeland. Ride out on a bounty job for Tucker. Camp. Ride to the overrun Nero refugee. Wait. I, I did this already. Just visiting her stone again? Huh. Hey, what do you need? Hey, work. what's up? Get back to work. And people at this camp just oh. wait a second. Looks like you got a few. Where's my uh what fuck's my bike at? Okay. Yeah, I got a drift Looks like it's pretty it's deep in the camp, camp still. Hey man. Uh, just having a look. Well, um, the bounty hat. Can I help you? Oh. Wait a sec, I got it. Where are we going exactly? Fast travel by there? Uh, not, not really. Hold up. Tolius Springs thing? Brian. It's goddamn O'Brien. What did he say? Uh, Metolius Springs? Metolius Springs. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Hey, Boozer, you there? Yeah, Dick. I just caught a break. That Nero radio might actually be useful. I know where they're going tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Okay. I thought you said you couldn't take them on. No, I can't. But with a little luck, I can get to the chopper without being seen and... Give him hell, brother. Remember what Jack used to say? Don't ride faster than your guardian angel can fly. Like I said, Jack used to say a lot of stupid shit. Deacon out. All right, let's go see what the hell Nero is up to. I'm gonna be honest, that sounds way more interesting. No, that's not the mission. Oh, 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 wait, what? Hold up. Why does it want me to visit her memorial stone, but it wants me to go out there? I don't know, but we're gonna head on out to that. Because this mission sounds... Way more badass than just doing some bounty hunt. Now if I can just get a uh ah. oh, oh, someone's trapped. Uh sorry dude, I got I got shit to do and Oh man. Goddamn rippers. I am going to kill. 
Squatters. Whoa, what you guys looking for, huh? Oh, come on, get out, get out. Ugh. Stop for fuel. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Hold on up. Half a tank. I mean, I'm here. Might as well, uh... Fill up again, you know. I also like how just before Boozer was all like, don't do it, don't go near the chopper. Now he's like, thought you said you couldn't. I believe in you though, brother. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh shit! Ah. Oh shit, no, no. I, um, I vastly overestimated the, uh, level of dirt bike my motorcycle had. And then it ended very poorly. Reminder to self, don't jump off any cliffs with the bike. Which honestly is a little bit surprising. Like, you would think we, we would have something that has some, uh, you know, zombie apocalypse. I would, I would want, like, something that's more dirt bike-esque that can do something like what I just tried to do without completely shattering itself. Out tree.
Hey, Sarge, how about we make an unscheduled stop on our way back? A couple of sample trips I want to check. Hey, Doc, how long before your job's done? I'm not a doctor. I keep telling you that. Sorry, Lieutenant O'Brien. How long are we going to be here? Okay, Doc. Lieutenant, don't become carrying on yourself. Only animals can become carrying on humans. You guys check the perimeter, right? Yeah, it's clear. <laughs> you would think that that grunt would have just given me away. Brian. Oh, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, whether that been something. Uh-uh. Uh, what do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that, that if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or some... Civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's night, with Nero camp, Protocol 2 7 were states. I, Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven, torn limb Nero from goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So, what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper. She was wounded. Yes. I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead. So I'm going to ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Uh, like you said, the uh, camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a uh, camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. 
O'Brien, report. I have to go. Please, uh, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. What was that? Little uh little glitchy glitch right there, I'm just sliding back and forth. Making contact. Dealing with my past. I mean I wanna continue that storyline. It seems like it's just meeting up with the gravestone again now. Brian, oh Brian, he's alive. How the hell is he alive? They were diverted south. He said that he put her on oxygen. He gave her an IV. He kept her alive. She was septic, so she wasn't going to make it, but he got her to a mesh unit. He saved her life. He said it. He said he saved her life. She, she could still be. She. No, no, no. No, no. But O'Brien is alive. If he is, maybe. Like I was just repeating everything we just heard. Like what? Deke, you there? Blues man. Um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remember that Nero asshole, O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Deke. It's it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get some shut eye booze, man. I'll tell you about it later. Make it out there. It's most of my gas, but probably find a thing over here. Yeah. Pretty low on gas. Hell? What the fuck is this? Deke, you there? Blues man. Um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole, O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Deke, it's, it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get some shut eye booze, man. I will tell you about it later. What are we riding out of here, Deke? <laughs> soon, loser. Real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. Yeah, Deke. Okay. I mean, I'm low, but <clears throat> I know there's gas over there, so if I can make it, I'm good. Plus, this will be a good test. So I just hit yellow. I got about 500 meters to go. Son of a bitch, you better ring me. You hear me, O'Brien? You're on this channel. God damn it. You better get back to me, or I'm going to track you down. You got that? God damn it. Oh, come on, Brian. Get back to me. I'm like, why is Deke just shouting into the radio, man? Every single. <coughs> Every single, like, Nero dude with a gun could also be on that channel and being like, who the fuck is this guy, O'Brien? Like, there are a lot of... <laughs> there are a lot of things this game is starting to make me question. Come on, 250... Ow, 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 God. Let's back up. Got it. Yes. Ah. 
Okay, here we go. That was weird. I hit it in the leg and I still got the bonus damage. Ooh, percent. Talk about just barely making it. That's good to know that even on low I can get about 500 meters. That should be it. I got a use for you. I have a feeling we might be going into another movie. Uh, hey, me again. Boozer says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He keeps asking me what goods I'd do, and, and maybe he's right, I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them? The, Mobile medical units, I mean, I got them sterile bandages. And I hope it's enough, you know? But Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I, don't, I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered, and son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <laughs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone too. As soon as I get it back together, I, the, my bike, I mean, I can get Boozer patched up. We're gonna ride north. Fresh start. Got a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that uh, I might not see you again. You know? Hundred percent. It was on me. Weapon recoil. I need weapon accuracy. I don't really need a re Well, that's what I need. Dirt shot. Two additional skills. Um. Focused ranged weapons have increased stopping power. That could be good. While sprinting. I mean, let's just do that. Let's do that. And then part of me kind of wants the crossbow, but hmm, I don't know. I mean, if it's significantly increased, I'm guessing one bolt takes out the dudes. But right now I've been using that, that sniper rifle, which is pretty nice. And it has good synergy with that. Projectile penetration... Do this. Chance to be stunned when they're hit by ranged weapons. Nice. Want to get that accuracy upgrade? Think it'll reduce my reticle even more. That's the other thing. Like, look at this. It's like something like that. Like when I'm just Thank looking at that. something, Did it's a big fucking shooting reticle. The same guy the one we saw on the roof that night. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it was him. And did he remember us? 
Paris. Sarah, what happened? I don't know. They got diverted south. He he remembered her, but he doesn't know what happened to her. I, I don't think she's still alive. What? No. I mean, no. Look, I'm not stupid, Boozer. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her, where she died. I don't need to find any peace. Uh, near our research site. Something like that. I, I gotta go. All right, Deacon out. Research sites usually have uh, narrow boosters, so let's shoot on over there real quick. It's gotta be an underground thing. Looking for a cave entrance. Booster does sound nice. Try that again. Alright, so the more I'm playing with this, I think what it is is after your melee, you just need to do an immediate follow up attack. There's a chance it could whiff. There's also a chance it just becomes a headshot, but it seems like as long as that attack hits, it gets a huge damage boost. What the hell is that sound? I know exactly what that is. An ejector. Nero had all the good shit. All right, and this will be 200 health, so I'll probably stop with health at this point. Nice. All right, um, anyway, we're going to wrap up here, but taking a look at missions. Yeah, learn to track deer from Copeland. Bounty job. I guess it's been a while. Let's go, let's go do the Copeland stuff, because... This relates to uh, there, so I'll fast travel on over there, and then we'll get that started with the next episode. So stay tuned, and I'll see y'all then.